Today we are going to talk about uh, the estimating for construction trades like concrete. The first item we are going to look at is the strip footing. It's actually located on every side of the building. More specifically, we want to calculate the formwork contact area for this footing and also the concrete volume we need. Let's go to footing level. So you can see the footing we're looking at is supporting the foundation wall. And it's also located all around the building. Let's go to view menu, schedules, material takeoff. From the list, we're going to go down and pick structural foundations. We're going to call this strip footing material takeoff. Let's pick assembly code, assembly description. Family and the type. Then some dimensions for the footing. Length. Width. Foundation thickness. We also need something associated with material. Material area. Material volume. We always pick material name. Let's see what we have. We can see that we have the strip footing three feet wide and uh, one foot tall. We do have the volume in cubic feet. We also have the area in square feet. However, is the area or the formwork? What we can do is to pick a line and uh, double check the number. Let's pick 98 feet long, three feet wide, and one foot tall for that footing. The volume we will have is 98 times 3 times 1. So we're getting 294 cubic feet, which is quite close to the number in the model. Now let's find out the formwork. If we do a cut through the section, This is three feet wide and that's one foot tall. Your formwork will be 98 times one foot on each side. You are not going to put any formwork below because this is where the bearing ground is. And you are not going to put any formwork on top because this is where the concrete is supposed to come from. Now if you take 98 feet times one, which is thickness of the footing, now times two because you need it for both sides. The number would have been 196 square feet. In our schedule, the 782 square feet is too high because they are including the surface area on every side of the object. What we can do now is to make another formwork field. In the property window, find the fields add another calculated parameter. Apparently this will be the area. The formula we have, we need the length. We also need the foundation thickness. Type a multiply in between. Don't forget though you will have to times two to get both sides. Apparently we don't need the material area anymore so you remove that. Move the formwork before volume. We need um, to summarize them. On the sorting and grouping, check grand total. On the formatting, you are going to calculate total on both volume and the formwork. For the volume, maybe you want a different unit other than cubic feet. Check field format. Instead of using project setting, you can pick something like cubic yard. Also, probably we don't want any decimal places. We're getting like 47 cubic yards of concrete in total and 840 square feet of the formwork area. Wish you enjoyed the exercise today. If so, you can like the video or subscribe to the channel. Next time we're going to cover foundation wall.